The job market outlook is getting better. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the unemployment rate fell to below 6% last month. 13 News reporter Natalie Wattis has what job recruiters are saying about jobs and if people, people actually want jobs right now. Natalie. Despite the drop in unemployment numbers nationwide, these levels are still higher than they were pre-pandemic. Locally, staffing agencies are feeling optimistic about more people seeking jobs and more companies hiring. According to a report done by Workforce West Virginia, the Mountain State's unemployment numbers are below the national average at 5% flat. It's the lowest unemployment rate since December of 2019 for the state of West Virginia. For local recruitment agencies, navigating employment opportunities during the pandemic proved difficult. We've had some bumps and bruises along the way, but we've been creative in trying to figure out how to recruit more aggressively, if you will, than outside of the norm. With the pandemic restrictions easing, Bailey says there is anticipation for more people seeking jobs. There are some out there that probably are not going to get the unemployment check anymore and they're basically going to want to come out here and try to find a job. It seems that demand for employment is already going up. Locally, staffing specialists say they've seen an influx of applicants in just the past two weeks. Based on the applicant pool that we got this morning, I would say we probably had about a 35% increase on applicants compared to last weekend's batch. It's this seemingly skyrocketing demand which led this company to host a walk-in hiring event. We've kind of opened up our doors to the public to come in at their convenience. Um, we do have hundreds of jobs available. Uh, ready for placement, but don't hang out too long because they're filling up. If you sit on the couch too long, you might miss out on that perfect opportunity. The staffing spe specialists say incentives like Kentucky's one-time $1,500 bonus to the first 15,000 Kentuckians who return to work by July 30th have helped drive up application numbers. In the studio in Huntington, Natalie Wattis, 13 News, working for you. Natalie, thanks. And if you missed today's event, they are holding another one just like it on Wednesday.